Eric, how much was there any part of after the Lions took the lead, like, oh, not again? I mean, the way you guys lost games at the start of the season? Yeah, honestly, uh, we got to do better, in the, you know, obviously. But uh, we don't want to be in that situation ever, you know, especially when we've been playing well all the whole game. You know, uh, we got we to come up with another stand right there. Eric, you surprised Gong through that ball. There wasn't much there. There was like three Vikings right around when they pulling you intercepted. Yeah, uh, I kind of was crouching a little bit. I knew that he couldn't really see me. Uh, that's how I felt. You know, I couldn't really see him, so I figured he couldn't really see me. But I figured there was something coming behind me. So then I just kind of like popped out. Hey, Harrison, how did it feel to get the start again? Um, you know, whatever, whatever to help my team win. You know, um, you know, if they call my number, you know, I'm just gonna play my role and do my job. Um, you know, th th that's what I'm here for. Sync though, especially with Hunter, what's it like to kind of get that flow going and, and be able to celebrate again along with him? Um, you know, this game was, it was crazy, but, you know, just to be out there with D-Hunt and, you know, the, the boys, you know, it's, it, it feels good, you know, um, just to get back in stride, you know, to catch our wisdom, you know, we got off the field a lot on third downs, um, you know, we just got to tackle better and play better and run, you know, we left some gaps open, but um, it's, it's, we just got to do better. Did it feel strange going after Jared Goff in a Lions uniform instead of Stafford? Um, you know, it's, it's a quarterback back there. Whatever quarterback we see, you know, we're going to try to get um, Stafford, Goff. It doesn't matter. How do you decide if you're going to go to the spin move like you did on Sewell? Um, I don't know. I just do it, honestly. <laughs> um, um, I, yeah, I just do it. Um, I, I really don't work it that much during practice because it is natural. But, you know, I try to use different moves to, to beat guys. But then that just comes out of nowhere, and I just do it off of my instincts. Eric, how do you think the team will respond to, to this win, even though it you know, wasn't a great performance overall by the team? I just think we're going to get back to work. I mean, regardless of what we lost or, you know, won this year, I know how we operate. You know, it hasn't, it hasn't changed since I've been here. You know, it's my seventh year. We just, we just grind. You know, we watch film. We're a smart team. We come to work. Nobody complains, you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to get back to work. We're going to get it right. Eric, Justin and Adam said you guys work on the two-minute every day. Just what's your confidence level when the offense is going back on the field with 33 seconds left? Man, that was amazing. You know, um, they got in position to win the game. You know, that's what it's all about. Had a little bit of time, um, had some good throws, and, uh, you know, our big, our big players made big plays. So, I mean, um, can I tell you that I was confident, you know what I mean? Yeah, but at the same time, like, we just gave up that, that, that touchdown. So uh, it was nerve-wracking for sure. Everson, how'd you feel just this three-game homestand? You had four sacks. How do you feel about the way the last three weeks you've just gotten back in the group? Um, I'm, I, honestly, I'm just happy we got the win, to be, to be quite frank. Um, when we win, it, it takes care of everything, you know, the mistakes, everything. Winning, is it trumps it all. So we get a dub, you know, the team, you know, we're two and three now. So the win, that's all that matters to me, honestly. Eric, is there, you mentioned that last, you should have made a stand there at the end. Is there a stun factor when you go back on the field like that and they have a short field and you look like you were icing the game and all of a sudden you're back out there? Yeah, you know, um, Similar to the uh, early, I think early in the game when uh, I think they had a tip ball and it got picked off, and um, we went out there on defense. Like we, I think we had a stop on that and a kick a field goal. But similar to that situation, you know, we got, when it's a quick change, you know, we got to be ready for anything really, and uh, we got to go out there, calm, cool, and collected, and just handle our business. And um, in that situation, uh, we got we let it we let it get out of our hands. And uh, you know, as a good defense, you know, we gotta we gotta come through in those situations for sure. It was good, man. You know, Anthony Barr is my boy. Um, just the thing, just what, he, what he's been through, you know, these past couple of years, obviously, with some injuries. And uh, um, I know it meant a lot to him. You know, he's this guy who cares about the football a lot, cares about this team. Um, nobody wants him more than him. So, uh, you know, it was special. You know, it, you know, I try to not make it bigger than it was, you know, what, what it was. But, you know, I feel like it was, it was, it was really big, and I'm, I'm proud of him. Yeah, with the way you guys got after Goff there with the pass rush, does that underscore just how important that run defense is, knowing that, hey, once you guys get him in those situations? You, you know, um, it, it, all, it all starts with the run. You know, we got to be able to stop the run, the rush the pass here. We got to play complimentary football. Um, but when we get in passing situation, we are confident in our rush, you know, with the four-man rush that we got, the rush man on our team. And, you know, whenever we get in that situation, we feel confident that we could get to the quarterback. Um, you know, we would like to get to earlier in the game, you know, um, third quarter, you know. Um, but, you know, when we get the opportunities, we're going to go out there and we're going to rush them and we're going to rush them hard. What are 
are you guys seeing from the run defense here? What, what? Um, I just feel like we just got to stay in our gaps, man our gaps, um, and um, come off the blocks um, and really just play technique football. Um, your gap is your gap. Come off strike, you know, and stay in your gap. And I, I, it's really simple when it comes to the run game, but it all works together at the same time, you know. The, 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 the D lineman got to trust the linebacker. The linebacker's got to trust the D lineman. And we just got to coincide and do it all together. Yeah, we need to we need to definitely realize how they're trying to attack us initially, you know, first quarter, um, preferably, and then go out there with a plan so we don't have to do those adjustments at halftime. You know what I mean? Um, and then, uh, like you said, you know, play play sound. Um, everyone's doing their job. Everyone's flying to the ball, and then make a play when it's presented. Is that just a sideline thing? Is it trying to make sure you guys can talk through those things quicker? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's a little bit on the coaches, but it's on the players as well. You know, we're out there. We're seeing things. I'm a veteran. I got to know, hey, uh, if they're running to a certain somebody or you know, motioning a tight end over to get to get a certain formation. We got to we got to all be cohesive on that. Did you guys watch the final kick? Did you watch the final kick? Yeah, I, I watched it. No, I watched the whole thing straight to the middle. Yeah, I watched it. Um, me and Rob, he was leaning on my shoulder and thank the <laughs> thank the Lord, man. <laughs> Coach said he doesn't watch it. <laughs> he doesn't? I can get that. Uh, Eric, Justin was talking about your, your one-handed interception. He said he always watches you at practice, like practicing catches and stuff like that. Just kind of curious what kind of reaction you got from teammates after that play. I mean, I don't I, – it was it was obviously good celebrating with my teammates, but I feel like uh, you know they they kind of expected at this point. You know I put the work in, so uh, um, I just feel like it's natural to, for it for it to come through in the game sometimes. And uh, yeah, it's always fun celebrating that when your teams. Eric, what, what did you see on the touchdown run at the end there? I saw a holding call on Dalvin, <laughs> but yeah, you know we got to stop that though, regardless. <laughs> Uh, Zimmer mentioned uh, with run defense that the Lions may have lifted a couple of plays from the Browns that were for the Browns. Is there something about, I think you mentioned, like, moving gaps and pulling linemen. Is there something about, you know, the confusion that that causes or the communication that it might need to have in order for you to shore up in run defense? Yeah, you know, um, it, it, they're doing it really quickly. So it's happening right, right before the snap. So uh, adjustments have to be made, like, immediately. And, um it's it, it they're, they're quick things that happen that we all got to be on the same page. Everyone's got to slide over a gap or come back a gap, and and then as soon as you're you're sliding over one way, they're bringing somebody back. So it's just you know they're trying to they're trying to mess with our eyes. But um you know this is our I think this is our fifth this is our fifth game. Yeah. This is our fifth game. You know as 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 we go on, uh, we're seeing all these looks. We're seeing every single run we've, we we like there is in in uh, in football. You know uh, the past two weeks we've seen every single run, and usually you know a team has a, a type of run that they come and attack us with. But um, seeing all these runs is going to give us more experience to where we know how to handle that in the future. Anyone else? All right.